the back of the house are hydrangea and some hostas. The hydrangeas flowers is all at the bottom. It's so pretty. It's finally phasing out. It's been blooming since June. So this is a fresh one. Now all of them is phasing out. Let's see, I gotta put some iron in here. See some yelling in the leaves back there. And everything is phasing out. I don't see any new flower appearing, but it's still got until the end of the season for some more shoots to come up with some flowers. And then over here is the hosta. The hosta is doing very lovely over here. Dino, I see you. Here is some pink phlox. I have a lot of phlox in my yard. I love the phlox. I love the smell of phlox. I love the hummingbirds and the bees that pollinate these. And I just love phlox. And I have a thousand of them in this yard. But look how big. They look just like a hydrangea flower, but they are so big. I did record a video a while back of a hummingbird in the yard. And there's been several times I caught hummingbirds on camera while I'm out here. So we may run into some. And I have some more white flocks back here. Here is a butterfly bush. It's a pussy blue butterfly bush by Prover Winters. It grows by two by two. As you can see, it is swallowing the arbs. I will be digging this up and moving it to another location, but it's happy that it's here. But by the arb grow so slow because it's gonna be get anywhere from eight to ten feet and um, four feet wide. I need to um, probably dig this up, but. I just love how it feel in. Last year was my first year putting this in the yard. So it's really at its size that it's gonna be. So just look at it. It started blooming this week. But this, the white phlox here in that butterfly bush, the, the pugsley boo, it's pretty. And I have several cone flowers in the yard. Look like this bee working hard and on the coneflower. I have different colors. This year they was all pink. When I first bought them, they was pink. Throughout the years, I guess the different fertilizer and the ground condition, it changed to assorted colors. But this year, majority of them is pink. But he's working hard. He's cleaning himself. The bee is cleaning himself and working hard at the same time have some more yarrows that's fading out. I did cut this one back and there's some new ones that's probably to get ready to open up. Here is some millenniums. I end up dividing the millenniums when I put the arbs in. And you got a fusion color flox. And then there's another arb. And back there is the yellow yarrows. But I like when these bloom till they bloom the yarrows. When they bloom, they bloom like a high pink and then they fade. And then that like that bloom into a hot yellow and then it fade. Right here are lilies. And this is my first time having two that came back. Normally it's one. This year it's two. And I have several flowers. I made sure the Japanese beetle didn't get a hold of this because when I goof around, forget about spraying them, the Japanese beetle, and I end up with like one flower. But this year, I did good. Mm, so pretty. And this is a giant lily. See the bee on his way on, over there to get the pollinate the flower. And here are some more assorted cone flower. This is the only color that's different from out the rest of the color this year. But I love this color against this arb because it goes with each other. And then I have a whole lot of gay feathers um, about to get ready to peter out. 
this year we had over 25 days of rain. So we rained every other day starting beginning of June until now. And this is going to be the first week we actually had a full, complete, sunny week. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's just at average temperatures, which I'm so excited that we're finally getting this. But I'm also glad that it did rain because I did not want to water these plants to pay the high water bill. Some of these rows of sharing is finally opening up and phasing out. You can see some is getting ready to open. And then got quite a few open back here. These do drop their seeds, so I do go in and pick them up and get rid of the seed. Or I break it before it falls. So you see, I have a lot of them that's blooming. And it, did, it grew a lot this year. Um, I'm not mistaken, I think they said this get anywhere up to like 10 feet. And I planted this two years ago, and it's about six feet right now. Um, I think it's time to kind of trim it a little to give it like a little bit of control, or I might leave it like it is. But I, I remember my neighbors, they had one that used to go straight up. And I know um, she probably was trimming it trimming it to have it go straight up like a tree and I just love the smell of the rose of Sharon in the morning time and it's a lot of weed and I got to do this this week I'm so glad we finally getting the dry weather we need so I come out here we I do have some lavender plants that's in here and some more gay feathers and then Dino sniffing along the fence. There's some plants that Dino will eat. That's you know, help his little stomach issues at times. Sometimes I catch him eating like um, cone flowers. I'm looking at the boxwood and it's funny how this boxwood, the, that one just brewing out. Like it's doing its own thing, like it's making its own topiary. Now these boxwoods is filling in. I didn't cut it yet. I will be cutting in the fall. I will cut it like in September before the real cold weather get here. Let's continue to walk through this garden, our backyard, looking at all these weeds and things I need to do. It's okay to have a few weeds or a lot of weeds in your yard as long as you come out here once a week, maybe 10, 20 minutes and pull them. I'm waiting for this to bloom to see what color this is going to be. Because I have one of them that's blooming right now. I just love these arbs. They fit back here. And then I have another hydrangea. This is like a this is the quick fire hydrangea right next to the um blue salvias. And I can't wait to the fall and see what color change. It's gonna change to like a uh, dark, dark red. And these dahlias is getting ready to burst open. I did pinch it because I didn't want it to get super tall because of the wind back here. So we do have one that's blooming. Let me get a closer look. See this one is blooming. Oh, it smells over here. It smells so lovely. It's so pretty. And your part is like, why that's right there? Don't worry, because it I have to dig that up. I just put it there because it was a big empty space there. Some more. Let's see this vine is just creeping everywhere in the yard. This is a lilac tree that's next to the hydrangea. And there's a whole lot of bees over here this morning working hard. And these cone flowers. The galliola is blooming. I have several of them that's blooming right now. And this one is a rare one. This one I bought from Dollar Tree. 
You got several that's blooming. Then you got the cat mirror here. I had cut back a while ago and now it's blooming. I'm disappointed with my tree this year. Normally it'd be way bigger than this. Um, I think because by me cutting it down too early, instead of leaving it up for the whole winter, that's why it, I'm assuming that it's not as big as it usually be. You don't, normally my high um, biscuit bush be way next to the pine. It'd be way next, taller than a pine bush, but this year, mm-mm. So I'm assuming by me cutting it down early in the fall, instead of leaving it up with the, the um, tree up to protect the crown, it, I didn't get that many returns. So next year, I'm gonna wait until the spring and cut it down. And then hopefully by summer 24, it'll be bigger. So this rose bush I planted in May, I cut it down after it finished blooming. Then it re bloomed, regrew, and everything. Less than a month, and it is just taking off in this loving this spot. The um, what used to be right here was hostas. I had to dig them up because it's a full sun yard now, and I put the rose bush here in May. I let the flower bloom because it had like a lot of buds on it. I let it bloom, cut it back a little, trimmed it up. Now it's taking off. Now also fertilizing once a week too. And look how green the leaves are and the flowers are opening up. Always wanted rose bush, but every time I try, I, I don't know what I do, but this time I said, I'm gonna let it do what it do. And when it need help, I cut it back. It's so, so pretty. Now, I just love this one. This one give me Honolulu Hawaiian vibes right here, especially next to this white phlox. I just love this Galliola. I got some more that's about to get ready to come up. I bought these at Lowe's. I bought some from Dollar Tree, I bought some from Lowe's. And you see right here is a white phlox next to a lily. So we have some more of the millenniums. Look at these plant combinations right here in this corner. Besides the weeds. <laughs> it's okay to have weeds in your yard. If you can't get to it, it's okay. Just get to it when you can. Just take like 20 minutes out the day to try to get to them. And plus, when you pull weeds, it's a stress reliever. So you get the full view of this yard before I continue on to the other half. Over here in this corner, we got some more of the pine bush because I have three and they are growing super, super huge. I love this one because it's growing like a pine tree because of the grass is shaping it. You can see the grass is like everywhere. It's time for me to go ahead and start trimming it back. And I have some more galliolas over here. It's just, I just in love with this yard this year. Me and um, Rick and Dino was out here yesterday barbecuing and under the tent, just looking at the yard, listening to the water. And I love coneflowers, love galliolas. I love this Midnight Masquerade, but I will be um, dividing it this year, this year so I could put in other places. Oh man, it's so nice right now. So you have some more clove flowers here, and then the rose of Sharon is getting swallowed by the grass. But I just love this combination. Here's some more flocks that's over here. I just love this smell. It's just the, when the wind blow, all you smell is the flocks. Besides that weed that I need to pull. It's a lot of weeds I need to pull. It's, it's rain, it rained every other day this summer. We didn't get the, the super heat, which was good. We, you know, get up close to 90. We only have four days of 90 degrees weather this year see the flocks right here but 
down here is swallowing the cone flower. That's hot. I seen a um, butterfly on here yesterday. Just love this. Next to the bird bath. Have some more cone flowers. This is a sunflower and it's um, finally about to get ready to start pushing up some more. I was a little late this year planting the seeds. Here are some Rebecca's. The Rebecca's is not liking this human and moist season. And I will be cutting it back. You can see it's being taken over by a whole lot of mildew. It's not liking the season. I didn't check on the um, other rebuckias that's more protective with other plants that's covering it. But yeah, I'm going to be cutting this down. Hopefully I get a second flush. But if I don't, I'm not going to worry. But I will keep the seed heads to these flowers in case if I don't get any back. And here's some more of the garland that's about to get Mom. ready to bloom. Dino. You want to say anything to your fans? You so you looking around, try to see what's going on. You trying to make sure I did my job. Hmm. You trying to make sure I did my job. Dino, you gonna kiss the camera? You gonna kiss the camera? Oh, Dino, you gonna say bye? Thank you for watching and you have a beautiful day.